lot of Hoko from Argentina will speak about the same topic about pharmacological treatment of presbyopia. Thank you, General, for the invitation. I will be talking about our experience with a new kind of drug to reverse the presbyopia. The idea patient that we can find is the person is the patient that don't like the pain on the glass. They have to follow the treatment very well. It's not so exigent with the vision because the drugs are very good but not is like the glass. Uh, I am using the drugs since four years ago. But the vision is very, very good, but it's not better than the glass. Uh, you know, another kind of patient that never used the glass, for example, astigmatic or myopia, is a very good candidate because it's very difficult to, to begin to use a glass until four or forty-five years old. Um, the patient also like make some kind of sport or very well informed about the new technology in the medicine are very good candidates. They have to also be very well and they have to have, uh, to have a very healthy body. In patients that we don't use the law is patients that suffer radial detachment or AEDs, a very exigent patient uh, less than 40 years old, diabetic patient, or they didn't like use drugs, or if they are very happy using lens, it's very don't change this because uh, the patient tend to to give up the testing. Okay, about the accommodation, how you can see, are three three principal action. The serial muscle begin to contraction and this modifies the lens, the shape, the shape and the position of the lens. After that we have a meiosis and then a covertness of the muscle of the head. The pharmacological treatment has two main components. One is the parasympathetic or mimetic drugs that is stimulated the parasympathetic neurasin of the AID and a non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs that maintain the results during the time. For more or less uh, four or six hours is uh, the effect of the drugs. About the action of the drug is the stimulation of the muscarine receptor in the cellular muscle and Iris, an inhibition of plastamangin producing for the under The contraction of uh, fibers, silicon and calendars of the silicon muscle depend on quality and quantity of muscarine residual that the patient has. And the third is the rehabilitation of the function of the muscle produce a change in the shape and the position of the crystal lens. Then the accumulation is possible again. How we can see the fibers of this muscular cellar, we have three kinds of fibers. The circle fibers, rider fibers, and trans. With the UN, we can see that in the far rotation, the shape of the lens is less. When you near accommodation, the shape is increased, it's greater the anterior posterior diameter. How we see the treatment decrease the anterior chamber of the patient, increase the lens sinkers and decrease the curvature value of the lens cap. Our treatment was between patients for 40 to 65 years old without any important pathology. The refraction may be between 
plus 0.75 to minus 0.50 diopter. We have to make an over patient. You have to choose the, the kind of drugs and choose the doses and periodicity in each case. This is the more important and difficult to learn. Because of the, we use three kinds of drugs, that the same drug in three different concentrations. One, two, and three percent. The one is a for um, more or less, it's not so strictly because we have we can um, investigate this patient. But more or less the one percent is between forty to fifty years old, the two percent is the, between fifty and sixty years old, and the three percent is greater of sixty years old. There are other important things, the, the color of the eyes. The refraction that they have also is very important. For example, between 40 to 50 years old, if the patient has plus 0.75, um, or sorry, greater from plus 75, we can use with 2%, 2 or 3 times a day. If the patient is made to pay, um, sure, we can use one, one percent and one or two times a day. And patients with light myopia, you use the one percent one or two times. Between 50 to 60 years old, we can begin with um, the developed patient with two or three percent, two or three times a day. The market day, the metro pay, with 2% two or two times and the myopic 2% two, two, two times per day. The, the greater patient, 60 to 65 years old, or, um, or use only the 3%. Very strange that you use the 2% because it didn't work with the person. We have to check the patient in the first. The first Week is very important because we can change the, percentage, the concentration of the drug. We have to listen that tell us the patient, but we have to, to uh, complete full examination of the age. The exclusion criteria that we, we have is myopia with astigmatism greater than one diopter, hyperopia greater than one diopter coronary against fetus or another pathology, retinal or general pathology. Right. The other adversary that, that we find was headaches, maybe the first day in same patient, 20%, EC is 70%, and low luminosity, one or two weeks, almost 40%. The array and dyspepsia was very sense, but maybe appear. You, you have to check with the patient the first week. Have you seen the, 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 the other reaction? Almost at four or, or eight weeks, they will disappear. The pupil for less uh, contraction in 40 or 50 percent of the normal size. Is, okay, this is a very important thing to, to check out the, the, the treatment at a week after the, when we begin with the treatment. The normal evolution of the presbyopia with glass, as you can see, in the, oh, plus 60 years old, more or less. All normal person uh, go to treat the diopter of the diopter of the diopter. And 40 years old, only the one diopter. In five, five years of evolution, and you can see the, this group, the 40 to 50 years old, the presbyopia is very stable, only stay in the same. Values. 
Our studio was made in Argentina with 300 patients, but in, in my city, but in Argentina is 50,000. 50, the age of the patient, we can divide in four groups. Um, okay. We make four different groups. The group number one is only plethiopic patient. Anybody need glasses. The two group is plethiopia with epicoropia. Only use glasses uh, at 52%. But it's very much lesser than the user use. For example, he, he use plus three, only need a plus one in some kind of letters. The, the presbyopia and plus phobias, the net negative percentage of space, no, they didn't need to last. And the last one group, presbyopia and no coma, anybody need to last. Uh, we asked the patient who, why they may give up the treatment. The more um, common is it because they get tired to use drugs, maybe in same patient for some conservative uh, even ingredients, they are very easy. All the effort of the, of the drugs plus um, less time. Okay, confusion is a very good tratament option for the patient that they don't like with the glasses and are very safe and easy to, to perform. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I open the discussion of this place and one about uh, the breath drops. Yes, please. A question and a comment to both of you. Is the effect only due to the meiosis, or is it due to the meiosis and the change, the forward displacement of the lens, and the change the diameter of the lens? That's my question, and then I'll give you a comment. Then all the meiosis is only the meiosis, or is it the uh, forward displacement and the change in the curvature of the lens, or to both? We have not been a, we have not shown any change in the lens, absolutely not. Um, why you can why it works is because of the meiosis and decrease of IO vibrations. That is increase of depth of focus, decrease of IO vibrations. We have not shown in our uh, solution any change of the lens shape. Okay. What you have to know is that we are talking two completely different drops. Not the size of those. That was your second question. Yeah, but the second question is a comment that maybe we have used a similar drop 35 years ago. So I'm showing only recent uh, documents. We did a study at the University of Ghent, biometric study using ultrasound. We compared two antiglaucoma drops, spinal carpin and we use 20, 30 years old people to see the secondary effect. Put pyrocarbine in one eye and acyclidin, at that time it was marketed as glaucadine, it's not on the market anymore in the other eye. With the pyrocarbine they had an extremely uh, important meiosis, we obtained minus 12 to minus 40 myopization and shallowing of the uh, anterior chamber. With the acyclidin we have also a meiosis, but not that important, but no change at all of the, the diffraction and no displacement of the lens. So the drops used now should look really similar probably to the acid lighting that was on the market uh, half a century ago. Uh, but I know that the pyrocarpic that very bad publicity because a lot of time ago we have this problem. But this kind of drug is a parasympathetic opimetic drug. And the meiosis effect is very low. I try, well, I use my cell. And in the surgery, for example, I make an experience one time. I will need a very meiosis effect for the fatty interval lens and try to put the 3%, the more, more stronger drugs. And put two or three times. When I go to the surgery, 
with the light of microscope, the pupil is big, world, very big. It's the myosic effect is almost nothing. I think that is uh, all the the muscle, the serial muscle contraction. What you should know, the difference between the Benozzi system and our system is the following. That the Benozzi system uses three different kinds of strength of the pyrocarpine and one strength of the trophenone. That's it. What we have is 0.2%, it's no secret, 0.2% pyrocarpine and 0.2% diprofenone and hyaluronic acid. So the third component that I didn't talk about is that we also fix up to a certain extent the dry eyes that all these patients have. There is a simple uh, uh, formula which says that uh, if you have uh, you put the, the, the iris in the eyes you, you increase the depth of focus and it's a uh, power of four. So it's very, very important to have a music. Uh, uh, it increases uh, very easily the depth of focus. That's a very powerful system to, to have a pseudo-accommodation. And you are right. Mm -hmm.